Gaudi é foda, né? Taurus, 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 Taurus. Go Taurus, go Taurus, go Taurus, go Taurus, go Taurus. Okay, my loves. Today we're going to do something a little different, Taurus. Welcome to the channel, loves. Thank you so much for being here. I'm just small tarot, okay? Lauren, okay, that's my name. Um, Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Well, you get to decide, Taurus. Are you going to pick stack one or stack two? Whichever stack you pick, we're going to do a quick spread, and then we're going to move on with our lives. You'll see which one resonates with you. If it don't, it don't. If it does, it does, okay? Stack one, here we go. All right, Spirit, what's the messages for stack one? Timestamps are in the description box, Taurus. Stack one, Spirit, what we got? Two cards. Choose wisely, Taurus. Choose wisely, my friend. Choose wisely, okay? Yeah. One more spirit. There we go. Third eye. Intuition, Taurus. Intuition. At the bottom of the deck, we got crown chakra. God dang. So, first pile. Man, what y'all doing? What's up? You have to make a decision, Taurus. Okay, you got options. That's the thing. Everybody does, but I think yours are becoming more and more apparent. They're becoming more and more clear to you. Spirit, what's the message for Taurus? Player. All right, Taurus. You got somebody that likes to play. Okay, they play too much. Spirit, what we got for pile one? Wear and tear. It's called wear and tear on the connection. The games, in and out games. Choose wisely, Taurus. Who do you, what do you want? What do you want? Then we got not for you. But some people don't look at that. Some people don't see the red light. They act like it don't exist. Now, have you ever seen somebody driving Taurus and they go through a red light? You're like, this motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, Taurus, the back of the deck. This person has a lot of casual sex, Taurus. And they like to have you chase after them. They want you to chase after them, Taurus, for a commitment. Taurus, when they're not willing to give you, there's differences between y'all. This person likes to have casual sex. They're a player, okay? This is just who they be, all right? This is just who they be. Okay, so let's see. Spirit, what's the messages? For pile one, let's see. What's up, Taurus? Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Thank you, Lori Sierra. For my dad, babe. I hope you chose, chose pile one. Because if you did, here we go. All right. All right, player. What's this energy spirit? Choose wisely, player. Somebody that takes leaps and bounds without even thinking or looking, Taurus. Okay, Aries energy here. Then we got the Ten of Wands here. But they always end up burdened. Okay, so they make these weird, rash decisions, Taurus. Okay. They don't think before they leap. They don't think before anything. And by the time they get down to the bottom, okay, they carry a bunch of burdens with them. They're stressed the fuck out when they run into the situations. This is somebody, Taurus, that makes dumb-ass choices. I'm not going to lie. Their decision-making is very... It sucks. It sucks. Like, it sucks ass. All right? Your third eye is showing you something. Player energy, spirit. Player for Taurus. Yeah, not a wand. Look at that. Just confirming who the hell they are. That's all this is doing. Confirming who they are. Somebody's stressed out with this life tour. It's this lifestyle, but they don't, they can't stop doing it. They're addicted to it. They like to get people addicted to them. Okay. So choose wisely with this situation. Decide what you really want. Because you could be just like, you know, missing the good times you've had with somebody. That's fine and dandy. But if it's always somebody playing you, then what the fuck's good about that? Even in between, even in the meantime, between time, if you're being played, what, what memories are there? Oh, it was a secret you were getting played? That was the memory you're, you're banking on? Don't do that, Taurus. 
You deserve so much better than that. Could be done with the Aries Leo Sag. That's all fire energy here. Somebody's very passionate and very sexual. Okay? They use sex as a weapon. All right? Yuck. <laughs> I'd rather have a Glock than that. Okay? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Okay? I think a Glock would have less bodies than this motherfucker here. I don't know. I just don't. I don't know, Taurus. Choose wisely, though. Spirit, what we got going on here? Wear and tear. And it's funny that this looks like fire sign energy. And they're wearing it. Look at that red suit she's wearing. She or he. Doesn't matter. Nail. Don't stop. Nail. Thank you. Look at that. Just all that red. Okay. Fire energy. All right, Spirit. What we got for wear and tear? Oh, three of cups. Three of cups. This person, this person has multiple third parties, Taurus. I don't know. That's weird. Maybe they have group sex or something. There was a love story being written here and somebody kept playing with you. Your third eye opened up. Your intuition is on point. What's this person feeling right now with this wear and tear energy spirit? Their ego. Their ego's got to them. They think that they're, 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 they're sweet shit. That's what I'm feeling here. Their arrogance is just taller than the sky. This person has a lot of arrogance. They're, they're very arrogant, Taurus. I think you know that, but it's just showing. Fire sign energy, Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy, wear and tear spirit. Yeah, look, sneaky as fuck. Like, they don't care about this, Taurus. They don't care if it's causing wear and tear on the connection. They don't care because they know you'll come back and heal it with them anyway. All you'll do is go and sit somewhere, lick your wounds, and you'll be right back. You'll be right back to them. Motherfuckers are slow. They think they can they, they think they carry on with this type of energy forever. Somebody here is very sneaky, Taurus. Very sneaky. No wonder why choose wisely is out here. Choose your path wisely with people like this. They're scum. Taurus, you could be dating this person right now and you don't even know they're playing you. You don't even know. Somebody's lying, telling you, look, it's just stress from work or you know, um, I just had a long day. I need to get in the shower and, you know, rejuvenate and, you know, choose wisely towards and what and choose and, and, and read between lines. It doesn't hurt. You don't have to be like addicted to reading between the lines, but you can read between the lines. OK, and in a way, I know somebody, some of you are anxious, scared, insecure. OK, but the thing about that is, is that all that's doing is covering up everything, what you really are feeling. That third eye energy, that's your connection with spirit. That's your intuition. That's your wisdom. Okay? Your connection with spirit's your crown. Okay? Not not, not your third eye. But um, normally that develops around the ages of 36 and 42 years old, the third eye energy. Okay? Doesn't mean that's the only time you develop it. No, it just heightens then. It really heightens. It's like you think about it. When you're about 36 years old, you ain't want to. some people don't want to be with the bullshit. They don't want to do this. So some of you might be 36, some of you may not be. But a lot of you are just tired of this. But Spirit's saying choose wisely, okay? Uh, passion, passion is not for a lifetime. You don't want passion for a lifetime. Not for you. Nine of Pentacles, Taurus. Some of you guys are being advised by Spirit to let this go. To become independent. To get yourself away from it. Exercise. Have a wide berth between you and this person. Because it ain't going to bring you nothing but drama, stress, sneaky energy. I mean, look, this person looks dressed to impress, but they're sneaky as fuck. They may look really good. They may look innocent, but they're a thief. They steal. They steal. And very arrogant, the six of wands here. Arrogancy. They do wear and tear on all kinds of connections. Even their own mama and daddy connections and shit. They don't know how to keep anything together. You couldn't teach this person towards if you wanted to. First and foremost, I don't think they're willing to learn. They're too fucking arrogant. They know everything. Okay. All right, so not for you, spirit. Look, six of cups, six of uh, swords. Not for you, Taurus. Moving away, Taurus, being independent. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, seven of wands. Blocking they ass. Blocking them off. Letting them go, man. Choose wisely. Use that third eye energy. Your intuition is on point. You know something's up. Look at all this green this person's wearing. Okay, with the wands. This is the fire energy here, okay? With all that green they're wearing, it, may, it reminds me of you, Taurus, an earth sign, male or female, okay? 
towards you're too good to be giving yourself second to take somebody second, third, fifth, fourth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. You're too good for this. Like you, you, and you, the thing is, Taurus, you've got to know that. Okay. Very loving. You need peace. It looks like this person brings in energy of making you mad or kind of sad. When you should be feeling powerful and joyful. They take that shit right out the gate. Use your intuition. Choose wisely and use your intuition while doing so. Sit by yourself, meditate, and figure out what it is that's just so weird about the situation. Because it just seems like it's all over the place. Okay? It seems like it's all over the place. You have a hard time making a decision. Spirit. Okay? Player energy. One more for each one. We'll go to the next. Player energy. Look. Page of Cups in reverse. Torch. You know how I feel about that punk-ass cup. It's back. The player's sorry, but not sorry. Oh, Taurus, I, I I didn't mean, you, you know, it's just things have been going on. Bitch, I see what's going on. You a hoe. Male or female, they a hoe. That's what they are. They come in with the fish cup upside down, okay? Probably smell like fish, probably smell like S-E-X. They nasty. They do things with everybody. And after they done, they feel disgusted, the ten of wands. They come in the knight of wands, right? Come in hot, passionate, ready. They do the damn deed, and then suddenly they're the Ten of Wands. Some of them, oh, wow. Some of you guys, some of y'all, this person got pregnant by somebody, and they claimed, they made a claim to be your baby, and they lied and said the baby was not viable. They fucking lied. They knew the baby wasn't yours. This person, for some of you, doesn't even want to be pregnant. Their player ways are just, it'll get in the way of being a player. They know people are going to, they're afraid of what people are going to think, them carrying your baby or anybody else's for that matter. It's just not you. That's disgusting. I'm seeing it because the fish in the cup, you know, um, the page of cups. So I just got that fish. But this is in the reverse. It's like this person, like, has uh, certain pregnancies or gets certain people pregnant. And then they're just like, you know, oh, I, they don't take no responsibility. I don't want it. Da, da, da. That's your thing. But don't go around f effing people knowing dang well that that's what happens. <laughs> like, what? This player needs help. They're trash box. Yeah, who says that word? Kev. If y'all seen Intuitive Kev on, on YouTube, I love his channel. Oh my God, I love his channel. When he first started, I just loved his channel. He was just so honest and blunt. And he's very handsome. Um, I just feel like this person, like, okay, I'm going to say trash pail. I'm not going to take somebody else's wording, but that was funny. It's like they don't change the liner of their trash pail. They don't. Like, let's, let's say this for an example, Taurus. You know... Um, protection, proactives, those type of things, okay? Um, they don't, they don't use that. They don't change it. They don't put one in their, their, their area. They don't use it. So, and all these things come about, they get stressed out with it. Spirit, clarify that page of cups in the reverse, because, uh, let me just, I don't want Taurus to be afraid here. Yeah, look, I'm telling the mother effing truths. Ace of Swords. It's just, it's no way I can make that up. There's no way. I just, and it, I don't sit here when I do my readings and just make shit up for shits and giggles. No, I feel it. I feel it. Sometimes I hear it. A lot of times I hear it. Like, <laughs> like if you're in a story, you're like, wow. So, is it, is it that bad? They're like, what? I'm like, oh my God, I shouldn't have said that. Like, I don't know. Sometimes I do that. But anyway, that's nothing I have to do with this, Taurus. I'm t that's what I meant. The Ace of Swords. Nothing but the truth. Absolutely the truth. Yeah. Lovers at the bottom of the deck. Too many fucking lovers. Okay. Too many to count. Too many to deal with. All right. Yeah. The magician. Very manipulative energy. They like to manipulate their way into people's beds and stuff. But this makes this person feel powerful until something goes down. An STD or an un unwanted pregnancy. And then here they are. Ten of wands. Stressed out. Because they come in real hot and passionate. But they don't put a liner in their trash pail. I'm sorry. They don't. Whichever one it is. It is, it is, it is grimy. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry, but that's just, I don't, I'm, okay, I'll get that out, y'all, look, let's take it out, y'all, say it, spirit guys, God, make it disappear, make it go away, no, <laughs> no, 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 okay, all right, let's go, wear and tear, one for the wear and tear spirit, Thank you. Yeah, look, Queen of Wands in the reverse. This person, like, gets... This person is very promiscuous, Taurus. Male or female. By the Three of Cups. 
And then the Six of Wands, they're like, man, yeah, I did that. Bitch, you nasty. Like, <laughs> Why would someone be so arrogant and like coof with that? Man, I did that. No, you didn't. You okay, you did that, but look what look what's coming. Come on, man. Come on. Like, no. This person is very promiscuous, very jealous. They like to home wreck, okay? Connections that they see together and shit. They're just it's a competition or it's like a they're competitive with it. They're like, Oh, I bet I can get that. Oh, I bet I can do that. It's like so it's weird. Okay. They're arrogant about it and they're they try to be very sneaky about it, spirit. Um, I mean Taurus. I was about to go to the next card. All right, Spirit, not for you. For Taurus, not for you. Look at this, Taurus. Yeah. Not for you. He the red, he the red flag. Not the red flag. He the red damn light. The light. He the red light and let it go. Nine of Pentacles with the Six of Swords and the Seven of uh, the Seven of Blocks. I was about to say seven of blocks. The seven of wands. It's time to block. It's time to get independent, Taurus, away from this person. It's time for you to become independent. They're too codependent. They want to make it seem like you're the codependent one. You're the clingy one. No, Taurus, you are self-made. You're earth sign. I mean, not all earth signs are like that, but, you know, I got a lot of uh, Virgo in my chart and Capricorn in one placement. Um, and so... I think that's why I love Earth signs so much. But I ain't got a lick of Taurus in there. Y'all, yeah, no, I'm not even joking. Yeah, so, oh, wow. And I look down and the stars in the reverse. So it was in the upright, Taurus. This is not for you. You're too healing. You're too good for this. Okay? Now, I know people don't like it when they hear people say someone's too good. But, Taurus, you are too good for this. All right? You just got to believe it. Okay? You just got to believe it to receive it. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay. Chipping boing. Okay. Two, dos, dos. Spirit, what we got going on for number two? Hello, Chorus. Welcome, welcome, welcome for number two. If you chose number two, pile number two. Let's see what's good with you. Okay, Taurus. Let's see. All right, Spirit. What we got for pile number two of Taurians? Taurian, 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 Taurian. Dun, 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 dun. Taurian, Taurian. Spirit, guys, bring me into the white light for Taurus's messages that they may resonate with, Spirit. Thank you so much for giving them clarity. Bless their good health and wealth and prosperity as well as myself. Amen and amen. All right, Taurus. Okay. Manifest in the reverse. So what the... F I mean, okay. What? 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 Okay. Taurus, so we got somebody here that's probably doing some shit. Okay, let's see. What's the next card, Spirit? They're a thief of joy and stability, Taurus. <laughs> Not funny, but I mean, look at this. What the heck? Okay, good. My whole deck ain't in reverse. Look at that. Okay. Um. Well, Taurus. Somebody here is just a thief of joy. Um, that's what I'm getting. Somebody around you, Taurus, they manifest in a dark way. They manifest dark shit. I hope somebody gets hurt or something like that. Or I hope you never find love or I hope you never get money or, you know, I, I, work, I hope the best, wish the best for you or, you know, I pray that the worst things happen. Bitch, how you gonna pray to a God that, what, what, okay. Anyway, that's them. All right, Taurus. Somebody doesn't like you taking care of yourself here. Pile number two, loves. somebody doesn't like this. I mean, really doesn't like it. Very manipulative. They like to steal your joy. They don't want you to be stable. Okay? Yeah. Miracles at the bottom of the deck, though. Taurus. 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 The Taurus. The Taurus. All right, babes. Let's see what's going on, Taurus, here. Thank you, spirit. 
three for Taurus. Unrequited. Unrequited. Somebody's trying to put a love spell on you, Taurus. Love spell. Mm. Choices. Hoping you're going to choose them. But why would you... Okay, I can you shut up. Balance. Things are going to be made fair. In this situation, Taurus. Taurus, I'm seeing pile number two. Loves, yeah, at the bottom deck, we got hot and cold. Somebody at one minute, Taurus, is very fiery and hot. The next minute, they're cold as ice. They treat you very, very low. They like being in this energy for the simple fact that it keeps you stuck. You see them being fiery. You see the potential. You see the hotness. You have the good sex. And then they get cold, flatlined. Nothing, no communication, on edge, anxious. It makes you stay in between hot and cold. Well, 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 well. Mr. Fancy Pants. Okay. All right, Taurus, let's see, babe, for pile two. What's up with pile two for Taurus spirit? What's going on? What's going down? Taurus in the house. I, I said Taurus in the house. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Wow, page of cups in the reverse again. The fuck? All right, spirit unrequited. Oh. <laughs> okay, Taurus. We got the three of swords for unrequited. Okay, Taurus. Three of swords here. Taurus, somebody's doing a lot of crying, okay? Somebody's doing a lot of crying here. It's like, Taurus, it's like you were in love with somebody. Without these swords in here, you were in love with somebody, Taurus. And this is what they did to you. This is what they did to you. They took the joy away from you. You loved very deeply. Very, very deeply. And this person did this on purpose to hurt you. It was unrequited from the beginning. It was painful to love this person. It's like, Taurus, you were this beautiful rose and they turned you cold. They turned you a bit numb, okay? Then we have the King of Pentacles. This is who you were around this person. Don't let them fool you, Taurus. They knew that. But they were so jealous of this energy of you being in this King of Pentacles energy. They were so jealous of that. So they made sure that, you know, okay, well, if I don't really have feelings for Taurus like that, maybe this person just can't give emotion. I don't fucking know. Who cares? But they shouldn't have led you on to believe that there was some love here when clearly it wasn't. It's clearly about money. It's clearly about what you could give them. What was the thing here, pile two? And they, they were doing dark shit even before you met them. They put a spell on you. Many, many spells, I feel. Just all that stuff coming out that treasure chest, but in the reverse. It was all like things directed down towards, you know, where the devil lives. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. Do not leave Aquarius. God dang. Pile one. I forgot to name off. Okay. I forgot to name off signs. My bad. Yeah, Taurus, look. Ten of Pentacles and the page of Pen uh, the Knight of Pentacles. This person was sitting around this whole time, Taurus, in this unrequited energy, knowing they did not f truly love you. It was all about finance. It was all about getting to your will, to your money, marrying you for money. It was a process. This person was willing to sit through it. But Spirit said no. Spirit showed you something. Unrequited Spirit. Seven of Swords. That came out in pile one, too. This motherfucker steals, they cheat, they lie. Anything to get what the fuck they want, they'll do it. 
They'll do it. Yeah, selfish as fuck as well. Don't think about other people's feelings or people involved. They just think about their motherfucking self, Taurus. This is an this is an abundance uh, an abundance digger. This is somebody that goes around and sees who got it, and if they got it, they'll pretend and fake it till they make it, till they marry in for, into the money. I don't know. I wouldn't trust no shit like that. I mean, not that you. I don't think he trusted either, Taurus. But if you're not aware, this, this is what this seems like. And then Ten of Pentacles comes out again. The King of Wands. Ace of, Ace of Wands reverse. This person wasn't really passionate about you. They just like have control over you. And they were nextly, nextly, some of you guys married this person. Okay? But nextly, what they were going to do is control your will, your money, your emotions, everything. If they want to control something, then you get a fucking baby doll. Baby doll, baby alive or some shit. It pisses and everything. It should piss in their face. Because this person's an idiot. This is how they operate. They know they're going to go somewhere to someone that's naive. Not naive, Taurus. You know, no shade. But you were a bit vulnerable. The King of Wands I just saw. Maybe this person looks very nice. They dress nice. I don't know. That's what I also got in part one. I don't get it. You can't fall in love with... You can't fall for people that just dress good. Okay? You just can't. You know, they say don't judge a book by its cover. Well, don't judge a book by its cover. Also meaning that you can't look at it because it looks nice and think everything else inside is nice. It could be fucking trash. Have you ever seen those movies? The um, the premiere of a movie, the poster and shit looks so bomb. You'd be like, hell yeah. And you watch and you're like, man, they showed every damn... The previews I saw, they showed all those parts. They showed the whole good parts of the movie. Everything else was trash. That's what I'm feeling here. They'll take you for your money, though. See, that's the gimmick. You got to go on ahead and look at, make it look real nice, make it look presentable. Yes, rated R, horror, splash of sex, drama, suspense, action. You're in. You're going to go see it. A lot of people are going to go see it. They can't get their money back after, though, even though they didn't like the movie. <laughs> it's like that. So I was banking on something here. This is fucking crazy. What? Look, Ten of Pentacles keeps coming out. It was unrequited towards. This was about cash flow. This was like, how do I get to the money? How do I get to the money? Okay, that's that's what I'm feeling. Somebody was going to sit there, pretend, take a leap of faith with you and love you and shit until they fell into all your fucking finances. And they had, they could swim in it. Okay, literally. They can just swim and bask in your, in your finance, in your abundance. This person is an abundance muncher. This person is an abundance digger. They look for people that have abundance, not only with money, but also their energy, their kindness. Okay? You are very secure within yourself towards before you met this person. Okay? Maybe not as much as you are now, but you were doing fine. And they came and wanted to disturb your peace just to do this. Bitch. Not you, Taurus. The Three of Swords asshole that did that. All right. Choices. Everybody got choices. Yeah, look. They made the choice not to put in the effort, Taurus. And now you get to make the choice to cut their ass smooth the fuck off. Okay? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. This person likes to take your joy. They want control over every part of you. You probably didn't see this at first, Taurus, but it's... It's the clarity you need, Taurus, to sit there and see things ain't gonna grow. Why? Because this motherfucker fake is all get out, Taurus. Very motherfucking selfish, okay? Have you up in your head, sitting up at night, crying and shit. Then they want to come rushing in with some damn truth. About what? About bullshit-ass commitment, Taurus. Why? Because they need to win at all costs, Taurus. Why? Because they just want to make you sad and feel shitty. Why? Because they ass is sitting here manipulative as fuck. Why? Because they just want to hurt you. Pile two. And that's like, I don't have many cards. I just, that said it right there. They weren't putting in any work. That was their choice. That was their choice. And now you get to make the choice to cut their ass off, Taurus. Cut them off. Don't go around trying to give love to people that ain't going to give that shit back. No. You ain't got to say nothing. Just cut them off. King of Swords. Stealth. Chest out. Okay. Chest out. Somebody around you to use you for your fucking money. Oh. Well, I heard somebody say something stupid one day. 
how y'all gonna call somebody a gold digger when you want to have some of this and those and that? Man, shut the fuck, man. Come on, man. Somebody, mama had to have been there, had to have not been present to sit to, for somebody to learn some shit like that. It's an equal give and exchange, but it's not one sided. You feel me? And on top of that, it's much more pure and better and more and more. It comes out more. Uh, like an empire, if both people are working towards the same goal together, they love, they care for each other, they got each other's back. It's not an exchange. It, it, you know, like, okay, I'll give you some of the sexo if you give me some of the, mo the, the moolah. Like, no. I don't want a prostitute and a trick transaction for my life. I don't know. Please. Please, please, please. <laughs> Get somebody that's real. And then that's what you do. You bounce out of shit like this. Stay to yourself for some time. You don't have to stay to yourself if you don't want to. Some people move right on to better and better. And, and, you know, it doesn't always end up bad. But, you know, you need some time to really think, man, what is it about me that I need to change? Oh, that's it, Taurus. That's one thing you can change. Learn to say no. Learn to put up those boundaries. You get to make the choice to do so. You either do or you don't. And stand firm behind them. Don't let nobody change your mind. They don't have that. They don't have that ability unless you give it to them. Okay, choices, spirit. Choices. Two of Pentacles. They made the choice to juggle. They made the choice to make you feel like if you should juggle your finances towards some of you will go without, just to make sure they had. And they still, they still didn't make any. It didn't still. It still didn't make a dent. It didn't do nothing. They had their choices. Four of Wands in the reverse. Fake ass twin flame bullshit. People run around thinking, oh, my twins are complicated. Ask me for my money. Mess with my best friend. Okay, mess with my daddy. The, uh, yeah, but they, but we, we, we twin. Y'all, come on now. Come on now. Smarten the fuck up. Smarten up. Taurus, if they say you, I'm not talking to you. Crosswatchers, thanks you, I'm not talking to you. Learn to know when something's toxic and let that shit motherfucking go. You don't have every... You don't have time for it. You do not get a refund on time. Like, no, fuck that. The journey I'm going to take is on my own, by myself, okay? I'm going to be happy. You chose somebody else. There it is. Period. Choices. Balance, spirit. Balance for tourists. Balance for the Taurus. Yeah, it's going to be made fair, Taurus. Somebody from your past likes to keep you stuck in the past when you're being used. Okay? King of Cups in reverse. They act like they have no emotions, Taurus. They're overly emotional. They're the clingy one to your money, to your finances, to your emotions, to control, manipulative. We don't see the magician out here. I don't have time. Manifest in the reverse. This person also don't know how to manifest. That's why they don't have joy and stability. All they see is money being the end-all, be-all. They don't see themselves sitting with somebody, growing old with them, building with them, building an empire together, something that's going to be very, very, very beautiful for the both of you to be able to look on, look back, and be like, man, look where we started, and then right where, right where you're at now, just being thankful you got there. This person doesn't think like that. I need to find somebody that's already got their abundance so I can just piggyback off that shit. Man, no, Taurus. This person will keep you stuck in the past. Are you trying to come in and balance something out with their ass? They're going to keep bringing up the past. Well, I remember when you used to do this for me. And I remember that, Taurus, don't deal with the guilt trips. Here goes this motherfucker again. It's King of Wands. King of Wands. King of Cups in reverse and King of Wands in upright. Taurus, I don't know what it's about. But many of you like pretty things, and I get that. But you better start looking a little bit deeper. Because it's not worth your heart being broken. It isn't worth it. Heartbreak, it hurts. It really does. You feel like so, like, used. Like a piece of toilet paper or a baby wipe. And then just tossed away. You know? This person probably wouldn't even claim you out loud. That's crazy. I don't know where I'm getting that from. The back of the deck. Six of Wands in reverse. There ain't no victory here, Taurus. It's just pain. There's no victory. You'd be a victim. That's what this would be. 
No success. Yeah. Yeah, somebody refusing to hear the call. Somebody refusing to see something for what it is. It'll just end up being an ending. It'll end up being an ending. You'll be overly, like, overstimulated from just being so treated. You'll be so overstimulated with shame, guilt, torture. You know, angry, confused, rejection. That's what this is. Yeah, well, you could have had the Ten of Cups, Taurus, elsewhere. If you didn't waste your time on whoever this is, Taurus, it's never too late. Now you can get the fuck up. You can raise the fuck up out of this. You can. After you know who this person is, oh, hell yeah, you can. Spirit, one more for the balance. Yeah, look at that. They don't even know how to make a clear decision. Well, Taurus, why don't you balance it out for yourself? Take your arms from, follow those, let those arms go from in front of your chest. Take the blindfold off and see exactly for what it is. And be strong in your decision. Don't let nobody sway you. Be strong in your decision. Strong. Okay. Somebody will try to have you. Someone will try to block your intuition off. Okay. They like doing it. It's something that like turns this person to this. Uh, it turns them on that they get to make you feel frustrated and afraid. And not knowing what's happening next. Make somebody feel very powerful. But you're the powerful one, Taurus. Okay? They'll try to block your, your, your intuition off. It won't happen. The secrets will just eventually come out about this person's sex addiction. Things like that. What they're truly addicted to. Binding people to them. Leaving doors open. And connections and things. So they can always run back to an ex when it doesn't work with you. Or when it doesn't work with the ex, they'll come back to you. Fuck all that. Fuck them, fuck that. Okay? Yeah. Avoid the fucking tower. That's the truth. Ace of Swords. Avoid all of that. Like, for what? What? For what? For me to sit and hurt and wait? Oh, no. I'm good on you. I'm good on this club, whatever club this is. That's one reason why they're hot and cold. They like to fight with you. But at the same time, Taurus, this motherfucker wants you to sit here and open up to them. They want you to open up to them, Taurus, just so they can run. Do you see that? You open up and then they run from you. Ain't that a bitch? No. You be sitting here making an effort. They be sitting here rolling the dice, taking risks on your life. Okay, communicating bullshit they don't mean. Who needs that shit? Nobody. No fucking body. So pile two. Yeah. Is the overall message? A raw message for Taurus. Sorry, Taurus. All right, babes. Composure. Y'all got that last time. Manifestation. Wow. That's absolutely beautiful, Taurus. Manifestation. And composure. Taurus, you get to have whatever it is your heart desires. Because you're so loving and good to others. Yes, raise your vibration. You're so good to others, Taurus. Spirit, what's the overall messages 
three cards for Taurus. for you to be happy Taurus go towards your true soulmate someone that's going to give and take with you it's time to start that venture okay it may not be the ace of wands but the page is a start all right yes walk away from people places and things that are not helping you that don't have any type of uh walk away from your past be happy Walk away from your past and go towards venture, a new venture, okay? Yeah, stop going to the false starts. Stop dealing with them. This is what they got to offer you. This is all, and then it ends up to be this. Ace of Pentacles in the reverse, okay? Because they're sneaky behavior. Okay, Taurus. You're at two of these. Okay, Taurus, you're at two. Love strike. Okay, Taurus. Yes, Taurus. Someone's going to sweep you off your feet. That's what's going to happen. Yeah. Over somebody that just wants control over you. Someone that wants control over you is not going to like that you're going to be in this energy of being uh, something randomly unexpected, just making you feel over, overly like powerful and joyful, happy, seen, respected. They're not going to like that. They feel they have your heart in their hands. Bullshit. I call bullshit. This is a this is an illusion, like the motherfucker illusions that they try to make you feel like they want to commit to you. They're a master manipulator. Everything they say, everything they do is nine times out of ten is fake. It's some fake shit. So somebody that wants to have control over you, Taurus, take your pick. Or go to some towards something else that's gonna knock you off your feet. And it's gonna be something that's actually genuine and beautiful. It's gonna make you happy. Okay? Somebody might try to message you out of out, all out of just control because you walked away from them and they want to win some way, somehow. It's time to manifest. Keep your composure and keep it pushing. Keep it motherfucking pushing. Okay, Taurus. That has been your lovely reading, Taurus. I thank you guys so much. I hope that this made some type of clarity for you guys. Take good care of yourselves, okay? Love yourself, okay? Always and forever. Love you. You fucking deserve it. You really, truly do. Okay? No more being anxious. No more being afraid. It's time for peace. And it's time for joy. You fucking deserve that. And you know you do. It's all about what you just think you deserve, Taurus. The mind. The mind. Okay? Taurus, I love you. I love you. I love you. You guys have a beautiful Thursday, Thursday, Thursday. Take good care of yourselves, and I'll see you in the next video. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Bye, Taurus.